Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews. And today we are doing a older uh, review. Older for a lot of people. This I got this in my initial haul. If you look back at the video, this was in one of uh, my one big haul that I had this year. I was, I'll have another one coming soon. Uh, but I wasn't going to review this, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up here. And uh, because I don't collect a lot of play arts, um, I don't collect a lot of play arts Kai, and that's what this is. Um, I don't typically collect that scale. I think that's even out of scale for some of my larger figures. Uh, but I do like this these characters. I'm not that familiar with them. I did play the game. Um, it was somewhat enjoyable. Uh, but I do like the look of the characters, and so I do plan on collecting them. Uh, the SH Figure Arts one comes out, I think, sometime next year, so I will be getting that one as well. But this this is uh, the box. This is an interesting box, so I'll go ahead and actually show this one off. My camera, I, don't quite, I can't quite fit everything in frame, but it has really cool artwork here. Um, it has, like, the faces. The other... Uh, the other uh, things that she comes with are off to the side. I don't have them in the box anymore. But that artwork is really cool and I've always liked the Play Arts Kai boxes. I do have a few of them. I've always liked the magnet, the little magnet stuff that they always did. So uh, I do enjoy looking at that. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on with these boxes. They don't really show any uh, poses or anything on the back. So you don't get much to it. So that's it for the box. Let's get her out of the box and take a closer look. Alrighty, so here she is out of the box, and I gotta be really careful here to not move this, uh, this, uh, I guess you could say box that she is standing on, because she's not very sturdy when it comes to standing. But uh, let's get a closer look at her. Um, she is very interesting. I, there is, a. Uh, a very doll-like quality to her that is a little weird to me. Um, I do like the detail. She is very, very detailed in her dress here. This um, this is somewhat of a soft piece, soft piece, and it does give off the if if, if leather is what they were going for here. Um, I think it pulls it off pretty nicely. This is almost embroidered. To the point to where it's just it's done really really well um and you uh, know play arts kai goes for detail uh goes in on detail quite a bit on most things at least from the figures that i have um so yeah if, if leather was like the aesthetic that they were going for i think they they pulled it off really really nicely um but i definitely get a doll feel from her especially in her face um she just looks very doll-like to me. Um, the face is done really nicely. The lips look really good. The um, uh, the her hair is a weird kind of silvery type look or material to it. I'm not quite sure if that's accurate. I think I said I I, I played the game earlier. I did not play the game. I saw an anime with uh, with her in it and the uh, guy. So. I know there's a game, is what I meant to say. I do have it uh, on my PlayStation. I, I want to say, is it, is it a PlayStation exclusive? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, just to get a better look at like the embroidery on her, her dress, it's just done really nicely. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but it's kind of like a brownish, purplish paint to it. Um, her boots are done really nicely. You can, you can see the... Uh, the laces and they got the uh, little silver part for her boots on the back that's done really well yeah everything is done really really nicely she had like a little tassel here the wrinkling is done really 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 well um that like i, I think the only issue like i said i i really have with the figure is that um it's it's very doll like and <laughs> In the anime, I guess you kind of get that feeling, but I don't know, something is slightly off. Something is slightly off about it. I will say I don't like the, the paint job on the 
gloves that well. That could have been done better for sure. Um, and the wrist pegs are really sticking out quite a bit. I have tried to push those back in there more, but that's as deep as they go. I forgot, I forgot to mention like the feathers on her, on her wrist. Those are nice. Um, but yeah, other than the kind of the shoddy paint work on her gloves, um, and I guess you can kind of argue that since she is a, like a fighter, I guess you can argue that her gloves might get a little messed up. But other than that, I the figure's cool. The figure's cool. For aesthetics, I think she looks pretty good. So let's uh, get on to accessories. She has quite a bit. For accessories, she does come with two open hands, which look a lot like the hands that came with her in the box. So she comes with two pair of those. And she comes with two pair of weapon holding hands. And that's it. I like that they come on like trays like this, but that's it. They, she doesn't have any fist hands, so that's kind of disappointing. She does have two faces. Um, this is the this is the this is her face obviously covered, um, and she's like yelling. It doesn't look uh, that's what I assume she's doing. I assume she's yelling. It doesn't really look like she's yelling. It's it's a weird face. And then we have the uh, no mask face, and it's a it's it's a nice looking face, but again very doll like to me and you'll see it looks more doll when you put it on her than it does in my hand but it's very doll like to me then she gets a plethora of other accessories so she gets this little robot guy um and he is like articulated um very very be very 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 gentle with this guy because he is very thin plastic and one chef dies can probably break this guy um, but he does move here and i believe here in the elbow i guess that's kind of an elbow so he does have articulation there his hands don't move at all but he is done and painted very nicely um he yeah yeah it kind of gives a 3d printed vibe here on that part but yep he is done really nicely so she does have her little partner, I guess. Um, and he comes, this this part of the stand that, that connects to a stand. She does get this gigantic sword and I cannot fit it in frame. I wish I could get a better, I can get a closer look at it, but I can't fit the whole thing in frame. This sword is huge and it's super cool and it is done really, really nicely. And so she also comes, this is also a separate piece. This is another accessory. Um, but yeah, this is a very thin, brittle plastic. Again, if this takes a shelf dive, you're probably gonna break it, but all the painting on it is done phenomenally. Very, very cool. Then she also gets another sword, and this one is done equally as well. This one has a little tassel at the end. So that's pretty cool. And it's it's more or less a smaller version of the same sword. I believe this basic area is the same uh, for the most part, but yeah. Also painted very similarly to um, how the other one is. So that is done really cool. I do like that a lot. So both of her, both of her swords are just top notch. Absolutely wonderful. Then she gets these halo things. Now, I don't know what these are. Um, I don't recall seeing this in the anime. This could be a video game feature. Uh, so I don't know what they do. Uh, they go around the swords when they're connected to the stand. I'll show you the stand in a little bit. They connect to these pieces right here and they just kind of go in this hole here. And then the sword slides through this little slot. I don't know what they're supposed to do. But she comes with this, she comes with two of those, one for the smaller sword, and one, well, that was the bigger sword that I showed you, and then one for the smaller sword. It's basically the same concept for the stand. Stick it in this hole, and it, the, uh, the sword slides down in that little slide there. That's that, and then she does come with a really nice base. Um, I 
the uh, the symbol on there. I have no clue what that means, but it's it looks cool. It looks like some swords or something. I don't know. Um, this stand is very sturdy, very very sturdy. So it'll definitely hold her up. She does have some more a uh, more of a stand for her. So that that stand is for all her accessories, and then she has this stand for her, and then two clamps. And then she also comes with one last accessory, which is a whole other torso. I have no clue why, um, but it is also painted very nicely. Um, I, but for the life of me, I don't understand why she would come with this. Alrighty then, so for articulation. Now, I did get the DX version, so she might not come with all that stuff if you were to get her, if she's even available anymore. Um, but let's do the... Uh, articulation so she can look up a decent amount she does have a ball peg a uh, double ball peg in her head now you are going to get some gap in there unfortunately which is which is sad I mean these these figures are cheap and um, that seems to be um, something that they should be taken care of but she can look up that far she can look down that far she she so the double ball peg works like a double ball peg should. Unfortunately, she has some severe bobblehead type syndrome going on. The shoulders are on just a peg, and the peg does this weird hinge down thing that you need to do in order to get her arms up. It is tight, but you can do it. And you can kind of see there how this is working. It kind of has to come down a little bit in order for her to get her arms up, but she can get her arms up that high. And you gotta be careful with this because I can see this is breaking. This is very tight. Uh, as far as going all the way around, she can, but it is also very tight. Uh, bicep swivel here. Uh, she does have this weird double joint elbow. It kind of works, but it I feel like it elongates the arm. She's technically supposed to be a cyborg, so I guess you can kind of pull that off. Because of how this is set up, she does get a swivel there as well. Uh, she does not get a swivel here, but she does have ball, ball peg, ball, ball peg wrists, which are somewhat ratcheted. So both arms are the same. As far as her torso is concerned, she's not getting a whole lot in there. I can't pop her off. She's not getting a whole lot of room in there, so you're not going to get much. That's why I was saying the other torso, I don't know why they just didn't make them the same. I don't, it just doesn't make any sense. Look how much longer this this ball this double ball peg is, and look how much more range you can get. So I'm not quite sure why they didn't do the same here. They could have just cut out, maybe cut out, cut this out a little bit more. Uh, but with that being said, that's about all she can do with this torso. If I was to swap her out and put her here, she would get way better range, as you can see. You might gap a little bit more here, but you know, it's which sacrifice are you willing to make? So, oh, probably should put her back together. Okay. As far as her legs are concerned, she does have very, very, very hard ratchets at her waist here. So, again, this is a relatively small or relatively soft plastic. So, she can do the splits very nicely. Uh, this little tassel piece seems to be on some kind of peg, so that does move around. But yeah, you can see those ratchets in there. They are very, very, very strong ratchet, ratchets, and they are loud. She does have a thigh swivel that is mainly first thigh swivel and to detach your legs. Knees that far. Uh, ankles are also on a ratchet. They go down that far and up that far, and you can get kind of an ankle rocker out of this if you turn that pick around. So, uh, decent articulation. It's not bad. Uh, she is supposed to be like a fighting android. So, um, I guess as far as fighting is concerned, I guess she does have the articulation well enough. Oh, I didn't say, I didn't show you this. So she can kick up really far also. So that's also nice. Uh, it, doesn't really veer off to the side for real, so that's good. Backwards, I haven't been able to get her to kick backwards, um, so that might be an issue for you. 
she does have the butt cheek sculpted in the leg so and this and this piece here is a soft piece so theoretically she should be able to go back pretty good there we go so i was able to get her to go back a little bit there but those ratchets are stiff and it's almost as if she isn't meant to go that far backwards but that is it for articulation i am kind of winded from that <laughs> she those ratchets man are, are, are rough to play around with now she is a little hard to stand because the ratchets in her ankles aren't very stiff now hopefully i can get her to stay there and we can do some comparisons so here she is next to one of the few other play arts kai figures that i have and this is uh, i think they call these the variant play arts kai um, DC Super or not Super, Wonder Woman. And so you can kind of get an idea of what the scaling is here. Wonder Woman is a little bigger than her. I thought I had one more uh, Play Arts Kai figure that I could show you that, I, but I thought I had Supergirl, but I may have sold her off unfortunately. Then I went on ahead and threw Nico Robin in here just to give you an even better. <laughs> like she, these they're huge. The, the Nico Robin is a barrier of uh, variable action heroes. Um, it's in variable action, action heroes line, and so these 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 Play Arts Kai figures are just gigantic, and so they just scale so big that they're they're unless you just buy this line, it's hard to to, to put them in a in a display with other figures. And here's another example of, um, you know, this is Mayfex Gwenpool. Now, granted, she is a smaller character in general, but the Mayfex line uh, tends to run about six inches. So uh, give or take, you can kind of get an idea there. And last but not least, here she is next to the Jada Toy Chung Lee. And to give you a slightly better perspective than uh, Gwenpool. So here you go, really good. A six inch figure um and so yeah this is just kind of good giving you a scale idea of how big she actually is um but yeah that is it for comparisons so in conclusion if you are or if you collect the scale um then you might have already have her but uh she's a cool figure um hopefully uh, whether or not i'll keep collecting the scale is just to I'm not sure it's to be seen, but for now I do have her. But either way, she's a she's a decent figure. Um, I don't know if she's actually worth the price though. But with that being said, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.